And in lesson three here of our interior cage tut, we're going to finish up polishing the in interior portion of the car. And then we'll get ready for, for doing some other things to the car model here. And I'm just basically skimming over the model and just trying to make sure that everything's going to fit, you know, proper and nice and, you know, just looking for errors in the mesh and, um, just have to adjust those to go ahead and get them to fit properly. And just go ahead and refine the shape as much as I can to, to really make it look like it's fitting the interior portion of the car. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of thickness here to the interior portion of the car. Uh, i got to make sure I get all the right edges here. Go ahead and grab some of these faces here to go ahead and separate it for the door mesh, for the inside portion of the door mesh. And I'm just using the extract command there. And I'll delete one half so that I can mirror that back over with uh, the door mesh. You just have to be a little bit careful and mindful of what you're doing. And you can see I'm adding a little bit of thickness there. Make sure I go in <coughs> and not out. You defi definitely have to add a couple extra edge loops so that it maintains its, uh, its shape there. And if I do it on the one side, you got to make sure that you do it on the other side here.
and I'm just adding edge loops there so that it's you know going to maintain its shape whenever we smooth it. It's looking, it's looking pretty good right now. You should always, you know, spin around your model and double check to make sure everything is fitting the way that it's supposed to. And you can just see where I'm, you know, doing a lot of a lot of vertex editing. This isn't really that complex and it's just more time consuming. And this is all just, you know, shape refinement and, and really just trying to get it to, you know, be the way that you want it. I just continue to work and shape shape the verts as much as I can here. And add a couple extra edge loops so that everything whenever I smooth it it's gonna maintain its its shape. And you really want to be careful because whenever you add edge loops because you want to still maintain the uh, the edge flow that you have on the body of the car. 
so you have to be mindful of where you're adding edge loops or where you're not going to be adding edge loops. You just want to try to make sure that your geometric layout is uh, sort of matches the outside of the car as much as you can. And there you can see where we have a you know a fairly decent portion of the inside part of the car done. And just make sure I group everything properly here and make sure I name it properly. Organization is huge.